Hello everyone, today we'll be learning about the fade in and fade out effect in animation in Clip Studio Paint Pro. This effect is good for making GIFs. So let's start by clicking the animation. As you can see here, I already made a drawing. It's an Alice in Wonderland Disney version fan art. Now I'll click the animation tab here. Then click on timeline. Then enable time. And if it doesn't appear on the bottom of your screen, you have to click on window and then timeline. So you can see here, I already made animations here. The Cheshire Cat appearing and disappearing. The opacity is not adjusting. So some things are still missing. After creating the animation folder, which is the bottom right here and creating this animation cells what you want to do is click on the animation folder and then click on this button right here which says enable keyframes in this layer so what this does is you make keyframes and the computer will generate intermediate frames or frames in between these keyframes that will build up towards the next frame. So now if we click on the um, plus sign here on the animation folder, then we'll able to see the properties that can be adjusted by using this feature. So here we have transform and under transform we have position, scale ratio, rotate, and center of rotation. And when you scroll down, let me just enlarge this. Once you scroll down, you'll see opacity and track label. So now we'll be focusing on opacity. So for the first keyframe, the opacity should be at 100. So just have to click on the animation folder here on the layers panel then you'll have to click on 100 and then opacity okay now i want the Cheshire cat to be disappearing right about here in the middle frame so i'm just gonna click here and click on the animation folder and adjust it to zero. And to test it out, we'll have to click the play button here, and you'll see the Cheshire Cat disappearing. What we've done here is the fade out effect in the Clip Studio Paint Pro. But to complete our GIF, we want our Cheshire Cat to be reappearing towards the end frame. Now we're going to click one frame here and again we're going to adjust the opacity to a hundred. So what this feature does is when you click on frames in between, uh, like for example this one right here. you'll see that the opacity is already adjusted to 33%. The opacities are adjusted um, each frame it builds up towards the end. Now to test it out, you'll see the Cheshire Cat disappearing and reappearing. So that's our GIF right there. Now let me just enlarge this to give you a full view of the GIF. That's it. And now that ends our tutorial for today.